Natasha from Not A True Reviews and today we're unboxing Deadbolt Mystery Society. This is their Backstage Pass edition. Um, if you're not familiar with this box, this is a puzzle subscription. It's probably my favorite just because I like the way it all comes together. Um, it's $24.99 a month. Um, every box is its own standalone mystery. So you can subscribe at any time and you're not like left out of the lurch or whatever, you know, you know exactly what's going on. Um, there is a coupon code minus 20 that gives you 20% off any subscription. Um, these are really cool. You have to, you know, X amount. We, I think we spent about two hours doing this. My husband and I, he loves puzzles. So it's something fun for us to do. Now, obviously right on top, um, we're not, I'm not going to do the puzzle on this video. Of course not. I will put that in my blog. If you're interested in seeing kind of how it came together and what we did. I don't know right away with some of these. Usually my husband, he's drives me crazy. He can look at something and just figure it out. So first off, we have a backstage pass. It says VIP Voodoo Mary. And then there's a sequence of numbers there. And you're going to wear it. You're going to wear it. All right. Then we have our start here. This is like your paper that kind of tells you how to work work with what you have. Um, there is like an online you can go and like kind of get hints, I guess. Um, QR codes, sometimes they have QR codes and you need to have passwords and there's all these like fun little, just little puzzles within the puzzles, which I think is really neat. All right, so then into the heart of the matter, there is a Voodoo Mary, I'm guessing that's a ba the band in here, uh, guitar pick. There is a Dolly card collector's card. Every, I noticed every box from them comes with one of these. Although she was raised in Baptist home in southern Louisiana, Mary Kershaw decided to add a little voodoo mystique to her persona in hopes of making a name for herself. As a way of staying in character, Mary is always known to carry this voodoo doll named Dolly around with her. While she doesn't believe in the doll's power, she does consider it a good luck charm and refuses to go on stage without it. Someone stole the doll backstage in 2015 and demanded a $10,000 ransom in exchange for its safe return. Mary paid the money without hesitation, having grown so superstitious about her inability to play without the doll in her possession. Dolly now stays under lock and key. So there's that. All right, then we have, these are cards, I believe. These are usually characters that you're gonna use in, that's what we did with the last box. Um, characters that you're gonna use in your story. These are, you're gonna have to like deduce the culprit or whoever, you know. So we have Rich Mulvaney and then on the back, it kind of tells you about each one, I'm guessing. Uh, so then there's Garrett Barlow. He must play the guitar. Chase Culver. Oh, no, they're all, no, no, they have the guitar. So this is another puzzle. That's its own puzzle. Buzz Miles. I don't know if these are real people. I don't think so, though. He doesn't have anything on his. Paul Cameron. He has a guitar. Sidney Reagan, who doesn't have anything. Reginald Kenny, who doesn't have anything. Mary Kershaw, who carries that doll around with her. She doesn't have anything either. And then Riley Parks. Who kind of looks like my old personal trainer. <laughs> who plays the keyboard? I'm guessing that they play that instrument or something. All right, then we have Rock and Roll. This has a QR code on it, so you would scan this with your phone. It's going to take you to a website. There may be a password there that you're going to have to figure out. All right, then we've got the LOA, Guitars, Keyboards, Drums, Bass, Guitars. So that's some sort of a puzzle. It might have to do with those cards. Not sure. There's a lot that goes into this box though. Do you notice that? Um, there's a lot of like interesting details. They really work hard on getting you like this really cool assortment of items to work with your puzzles. It's very fun, I love it. I think that's really neat. All right, so we have a whole bunch of papers here. First we have this, notes of the moment I'm here in the unofficial. So there's a bunch of letter sequences down here. I'm guessing that's a puzzle. Then there's a bunch of cups, shot glasses here, and then some notes on a scale. So that's also a puzzle. Voodoo Mary, this is like their um, schedule for the month. Pins and Needles Tour 2019. Wonder if there's still, still tickets available now that it ended in July. Damn. All right. <laughs> All right, the playlist the, from the Carbon Underground. Another QR code and a, like a, a trunk to put your uh, instruments in. I love live music, by the way. So this is like cool to me. I think this is really an, an interest, interesting. Another puzzle, and I'm guessing this is going to be used in conjunction with this here because it has the Roman numerals. And here we have, I see, look, hold on. See how with the, the numbers, 
the numerals, there's uh, a letter associated. <laughs> oh, I'm going to slay this puzzle. All right. Uh, observations. So these are fingerprints, dressing room, and that's a QR code. And then you'll go through it and it's almost like you hit checkpoints when you get on those spots because you kind of go back. You know what I mean? Um, all right. Original Kennedy, Reg Kennedy promotions. This is like a, a schedule, I'm guessing. And there's some things X'd out and like kind of, you know, manipulated there. Uh, Jigsaw Heart, this is a lyric sheet, so that I'm sure there's going to be something of interest in there. Ready to solve the box. So when you are ready, you go on here and it tells you what you need to enter. So you're going to use the first name of the killer plus the name of Mary's last song, no caps, no spaces, and you're going to put it in there. And that's how you know if you got it right. We have gotten it wrong. We did the last time we got it wrong, and then we went back and we kind of like, okay, that's what we did wrong. All right, so here's some wine bottles. And then on the back here, I don't know anything about the murder. There were only a few people in the club before the body was found. And they were, they were either club employees or people associated with the band. The bar wasn't even open then. Strangely enough, there was a coaster on the bar that had some numbers and letters on it. I don't know who it belonged to, but it may be helpful. The only other weird thing happened while I was out back receiving a beer shipment a few minutes after five. When I came come back, I see one of those masked weirdos running away giggling. He had completely rearranged my wall. He dropped a little bag of pills, so I think he must have been high. Figures. So that was what happened there. Here's our set list. I'm so lucky to get one. I've never gotten one in my life. All right. Uh, here is the coaster with the numbers on it. And that's from Carbon Underground. And then we've got two more pieces of evidence. Uh, print taken from rental car used to transport Mary to the interview. So this is going to be used in conjunction with the paper with the fingerprints on it. Then we've got that doll and a whole bunch of different letters. Welcome, enjoy your stay. This looks like a hotel card. Um, so this is how you're going to get into the room, I suppose, with the QR code. Another, here's a tour bus with a QR code. And then finally, it's this paper with this guy on it. And it says, I'm not talking to you. I don't care what my boss said. She doesn't understand how this works. I can't be seen to a wannabe cop. I see all kinds of stuff go down at this club and I get paid to keep my mouth shut. If people think I'm a rat, then my life becomes more difficult. My job is harder to do effectively. I get paid to make this place cool and exclusive and the kind of place that people with money want to frequent. A lot of those people with money aren't exactly on the right side of the law, if you catch my meaning. We've had members of the Beatles, Phil Collins, Stone Sour, and Shine Down here. Those are the kinds of people who want who make this the city's most exclusive club. I plan to keep it that way. That's all I've got to say. So this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to solve this murder mystery. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll put that link to my blog down below. I will also link to Deadbolt Mystery Society so you can check them out. If you so desire, I'll also put that coupon code down there too. Um, as always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.